Now to a Today Show exclusive. The widow of a chain smoker who died of lung cancer in 1996 is awarded more than $23 billion in punitive damages against the nation's second largest cigarette maker, R.J. Reynolds. And yes, you heard me right, $23 billion. She spoke only with NBC News, and Kristen Welker has her story. I First, I, I heard millions. I didn't know it was B with a B, billions. And... I still can't believe it. Cynthia Johnson Robinson says she's still in disbelief after a Florida jury ordered tobacco giant R.J. Reynolds to pay her more than $23 billion for the wrongful death of her husband, Michael Johnson. Birthdays, Christmas, Father's Day, I still go and put flowers out on his grave. Johnson was a chain smoker who died of lung cancer in 1996 when he was just 36 years old. His widow still blames the company. They concealed information that was harmful to a human uh, for years and still to this day have not admitted that they were wrong. Once part of a class action lawsuit that was tossed out in 2006, Robinson then sued R.J. Reynolds on her own. And on Friday, she was awarded one of the largest verdicts in U.S. history. R.J. Reynolds is vowing to appeal, writing in a statement, the damages awarded in this case are grossly excessive and impermissible under state and constitutional law. We beat them once and we'll beat them again because we're on the side of justice. We're on the right side. Still, according to one legal analyst, Robinson may never see the billions she's been awarded. When you get an award this size, which is extremely, extremely rare, a lot of the times the award portion will get appealed, and nine times out of ten, they're very successful. Cynthia Johnson Robinson says her husband would be proud. He would say, we did it. We did it. The time has come. And someone had to start somewhere, and it started with me and Michael Johnson. For today, Kristen Welker, NBC News.